So the carts are on track for our first qualifying session of the day. It's the juniors, and it's been mighty close in the free practice sessions so far. So that's the group making their way out of turn three. And this is going to be the first flying lap, really, for many of the drivers. It's two and a half minutes left on the clock, so it's a, almost a two-lap shootout. It's going to be who gets the right lap at the right time. Doesn't get delayed, but does pick up perhaps a toe in the session. Drivers to watch out for going well overall in the free practice sessions this morning. Number seven, as I say, Mark Kimber, top three in all three sessions so far. But Dylan Bynes, number 74, topped one of the sessions as well. And the driver second in the standings, Glenn Van Berlo, has been up there a couple of times. Axel Charpentier, the points leader, number 88, one to watch. There is Glenn Van Berlo on the screen then, making his uh, way around the final turn. Ten turns, 1.7 kilometres, the fastest, the longest circuit that we have on the calendar. And Glenn Van Berlo goes through the top time so far, 66.188 seconds. He's down into the turn two. So number 49, the blue race suit is... Fastest at the moment, going down towards turn three. Joe Phillips, number 31, is second. And third is number 50, Andre Volta. But those times are not going to be good enough for pole because there's still at least, I reckon, half a second to come. We've got to get into the 65s, and we've got a lot of drivers yet to set a time in this session. And really only now going on to their first flying laps. So let's see what the sector times come up as. Mark Kimber yet to come through. Mark Kimber's somewhere in the third sector of the lap now, number seven. Certainly should be one to watch here. Driver third in the current standings. But they're almost as one, all huddled together. It's almost like watching a race. They're so close together on circuit. There's 50 seconds left to go, and everybody's leaving this pretty late to set a time. But it's that man, Glenn Van Berle, who was quickest. But Killian Mayer has now gone fastest with a 66.067. Then Lucas Dunner, number 14. Then Axel Charpentier, number 88. But there's still more time to come in this session. To the top of the times, back goes Glenn Van Berlo, just making his way down towards turn two. 65.689. Killian Mayer has gone second. He just crosses the line in cart 26. Joe Phillips is third, number 31. Oscar Palomo Ortiz, number 99, fourth. Then it's Oli Caldwell. And then still in the top six, doing a good job, is Andre Volta, number 50. Uh, but they're all on their final lap because there's only 14 seconds left on the clock. But it's 49 at the very head of the group giving everybody else a toe through turn five now. The blue livery and the blue race suit, top of the times. Time's updating, though, all the time. And Mark Kimber now goes to the top of the time, 65.567 seconds. Tom Canning, second. Then it's Van Berlo. So Kimber top with a 65.567. There still might be a bit more time to come in this session. Caldwell goes faster than anybody in sector one, but sector two isn't quite as good. And now fastest in the second sector is number 38, Tom Canning, the last man out onto the track, just going up into uh, turn eight, I think. So number 38 on a good lap here. It could all change. Wait for them to cross the line. And through they come. And Aldi Caldwell does it. He goes to the top of the time, 65.513 seconds. Mark Kimber is still there in the mix in second. We're waiting for him to cross the line. He goes through now, 65.664, half a tenth down. Then it's Charpentier third, Canning fourth. It was a good lap, but it wasn't quite good enough. So a very lively session there, which went right down to the wire. It was all down to the last lap, and it was Ollie Caldwell that just got it together, hooked it up beautifully to snatch pole position for the junior race.